Local man was just in his underwear when he chased down some people he saw breaking into his car. But he ended up getting shot by his neighbor. It happened in Owasso near Highway 169 and 116th Street North late Sunday night. That's where Fox 23's Ian Silver is reporting live for us with this strange story of a man in his boxers, Ian. Well, Clay, this all happened after midnight. So when, uh, when, when he saw that somebody was burglarizing his car, he just grabbed his gun and he ran out and started chasing them. But he didn't even take time to put on any clothes. But ultimately, the fact that he was running around in his underwear with a gun is what made him look so suspicious that he ended up getting shot. It was kind of an unusual circumstance. Unusual indeed, especially when somewhere in the mix of snow chasing the burglars, somebody else began chasing him. That's where things kind of get a little gray. You know, we don't exactly know what actually took place there. But Snow was worried enough to bang on Jimmy Null's door in the middle of the night. Null grabbed his 12-gauge when he saw a man with a gun in his underwear. I guess just in the hype of everything taking place when the guy reached for his own at gun, the homeowner at that time, he, he fired a shot trying to protect himself and, and his family. I can't imagine being that guy and trying to get somebody and then you end up getting hurt. Kayla Brown lives nearby and says if Snow had come to her door, she would have gotten her husband, who's in the Army. I think that he would definitely ask a few questions before just going off and shooting him. But like I said, I, I understand why that guy did that, to protect his family. Major Shannon Clark says chasing a burglar like Snow did is risky. Once there is no continuing threat to a person and or life or the community, then you can't use deadly force as an option. I'd probably do the same thing, honestly. I would grab a gun and, you know, threaten him since he is on my property that I will shoot him if he doesn't stop. And But would you chase him down? Oh, definitely. And so would plenty of other Oklahomans. So Clark says make sure you at least call 911 before you take off chasing them. So help is at least on the way in case something goes wrong like it did for Snow. Now, the good news is Snow is expected to make a full recovery, and at this point, Null is not expected to face any charges. Unfortunately, in all the chaos that was going on, those burglars got away. Reporting live in Owasso, Ian Silver, Fox 23 News.